All right, and lawyer Nicole Patino is with us and she's answering your workplace and employment questions. This person is asking, can an employer not pay you for a two hour drive to a job site? So that depends. Uh, questions that I would ask to determine that are when you're driving and where you're leaving from. There's something called the portal, portal to Portal Act. And if you're driving from your home to a work site, the employer probably doesn't have to pay you. Um, it also depends on whether you are allowing some other employee to ride with you or if you've been assigned that task by your employer. So I would definitely call an attorney or the North Carolina Department of Labor um, to determine whether that may be compensable. Okay. Uh, this person is asking, I've recently developed some serious health problems. Can my employer fire me for taking days off and or for leaving early for numerous doctor appointments per month? It depends. Um, in that circumstance, if this is related to a disability and not just some kind of common illness, um, you would want to talk to the employer and request an accommodation. And one of the accommodations that you can ask for is time away from the workplace. Okay, and so you need to just be upfront with the HR department or your boss about that to start working that out. If they don't know, then they can't accommodate you. So mm -hmm. absolutely. All right, this next question is, can your employer request or even demand you to quarantine if exposed to COVID-19? Yes, or at least not come to the workplace. So what you do at home, that's usually your business, but yes, they can absolutely say that you can't come into the workplace after an, after an exposure. All right, um, so this other question is, I was dating a coworker and we broke up. Now he or she says I sexually harassed them. So what can I do? Well, the employer is likely going to conduct an investigation. In that case, you if you did not do this, then you want to be truthful. Um, there there may be consequences for dating a, a coworker. Absolutely, if you're a supervisor, that can be a problem. But you may want to talk to an attorney in that situation. However, know that if this is unfounded and that person is lying because they're upset about something, they actually can have the disciplinary uh, action taken against them. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, this next question is, can my boss deduct money from my paycheck? It depends on why, but yes, they take out taxes, they take out health insurance benefits. If you um, were overpaid, they can deduct that. If you have garnishments, um, they can withhold that. So yes, probably. Okay, but that's one of those things where you need to go to HR and you need to ask them to help you understand what's going on with the pay stub. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um, all right, and this next question is, can an employer fire you without writing you up first? Yes, North Carolina is an employment at will state. So unless you have a contract for a term of employment or you are fired in violation of a public policy of North Carolina or for an unlawful discriminatory reason, um, then your employer can fire you for basically any reason, no reason or um, a silly reason but that that also leaves open the opportunity for you to quit for any reason okay all right let's put up this question this is a question that that talks about covid and being infected by another co-worker if you're infected with covid by another co-worker can i sue my employer and hold them responsible for my exposure so that's probably a worker's comp issue and so far, from what I understand, in North Carolina, there haven't been any comp cases in which an employer has been held responsible for that. Um, but I would definitely talk to a workers' comp attorney if that situation happens to you. All right, this person is a follow-up. It says, does HR have to disclose my medical condition to my supervisor in order to provide me accommodations? This is the same kind of question about the person needing off for the doctor's appointments. They might have to, the employer should keep the condition as confidential as possible. And they're gonna keep that information in a separate file, but your supervisor may need to know that you have an accommodation and that is allowing you to leave or to have some other accommodation in the workplace. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got about a minute left. This person saying, why didn't my employer offer me a severance? 
Okay, so in North Carolina, severances are not required, but um, if there is a reason that you think you are eligible for a severance, so for example, if you have a potential legal claim against your employer, or if something happened at the workplace and you feel that you should be compensated, talk to an attorney because sometimes we can negotiate one. Okay, all right. Well, thank you so much for your time and your expertise. We so appreciate it. All of these questions are going to be in the two wants to know section if you miss any of them.